I'm recording. Already. John, take your seat. Yeah, I will. <laughs> <It's> time. <laughs> okay. Already. Can you? Is, is that okay? Can you see me? Perfect. All right. Please Perfect. have a seat. Welcome to Phlebotomy Career Training Channel, Phlebotomy Rocks viewers. We want to thank you for all of your views and our subscribers. I'm Nancy Kimmel, and this is one of our office administrators, Mr. Mike Leonard. Pleasure. And we thought we'd take a little time out of our day today to discuss the um, Thompson Prometric for CNAs. And as a school that trains and graduates a lot of CNAs, we find that the test for the Thompson Prometric seems to be probably one of the most nerve-wracking tests there are. It certainly does seem to be that way. Uh, one thing that I found is that oftentimes graduates uh, find themselves with a great deal of trepidation Absolutely. related to the Thompson Prometric exam. And uh, we just like to discuss that and sort of dispel uh, some of the myths of the exam and uh, you know, just speak a little more uh, in-depthly about it and why one need not be nervous with the exam. Yeah, you know, I, I noticed a lot of our students, it's like from day one, even to the last day of class, it's like, what are they going to expect? What is it going to entail? You know, what are, are they gonna, you know, everyone's so afraid of failing. And the fear factor, I think, is what is, it's, really overpowering, almost debilitating, and we just want to let all of our CENAs and all the CENAs across the U.S. know that you're going to be fine. Take a deep breath, relax, you've been trained to do this, and you'll be fine. Remember, you have to send in, I believe it's their certification, a copies, copies, only copies. Your a copy of your certification, copy of your transcript, copy of a letter of completion that the school that we give them, right, to show how many hours they've put in, and then of course you have to fill out your form. Now, Prometric moved their offices. I know in Michigan, when the students send their new forms out, they're I think they're in Maryland now. I believe they are in Maryland. Yeah, they moved. So if you're using the old forms, it's going to postpone your authorization to test, you know, three or four weeks, and it should only take seven to ten days. Now, once you get your authorization to test in the mail, that's your golden ticket to go and schedule a test. Now, what I would recommend, uh, for those of you that have never had CNA before and they've just graduated, um, I think a boot camp is probably a good idea. Such as a review? Yeah, like, like maybe a one-day um, boot camp that they have in different parts of, uh, in different cities and community colleges and things like that. It's always a good idea to have that refreshment. Also yeah. that helps to set your nerves at ease a bit uh, before you do go take the exam, just to have the confidence of that recent review and refresher. And, and you know, and I think too, because there's 21 skills, so they're going to ask you three of those skills. Now, hand washing is, is part of all of the skills. So, hand washing obviously is, is, not, is not one of the three. So, take away hand washing and you're left with 20 skills. Yes. But typically, what they do is they give you a water skill, they give you a measuring skill, and they give you a physical skill. A physical skill might be transferring someone from a bed to a chair. A physical skill might be positioning someone in bed. Um, a measuring skill might be height and weight, emptying and measuring a foley, uh, taking a pulse. So you're not going to get three water skills. And now that they've reduced the time, I believe it's like 35 minutes now. That's what they're saying, yeah. Used to be, I think, almost two hours they'd give them for the skills. So they've reduced your time. But what they do allow you to do, so if you're giving it, if you have like a partial bath, they may only have you do half of the body. Uh, so you should be able to finish in those 35 to 40 minutes. Not only that, they give you, they, they actually give them the, uh, the prometric sheet with all the scales yes, on them. Yes. So you have that, and you just have to keep in mind that you have a time limit. Now here's the thing that maybe a lot of CNAs don't know. 
do you know that if they do a skill and they miss one of the skills, then one of the they miss something yes. in the skill. If they say that they forgot before they say done, they'll pass you. So we're gonna we have to answer phones, so we're gonna say bye bye. Until next time. <laughs> bye bye. bye, -bye. Oh, geez, I was actually a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see.